destination heaven. There is a new popular phrase that has cropped up during the period of pandemic in this country, attributed to the Prime Minister Boris Johnson and used when describing plans for the way ahead for the country as a whole. The roadmap. Now for me, a roadmap shows me very clearly how to get from A to B. I don't have to worry about the topography or the natural barriers to my progress like rivers and ravines, imposing mountains and dense forests. The tunnelers, bridge and road builders have already covered that. I just follow the coloured lines between my start point and my destination. Of course, due to our network of highways, byways, motorways and railways, I have several options to choose from. The most direct or more circuitous, scenic routes. It is a continuous journey without a need to achieve milestones to get there. In relation to our destination endpoint for the pandemic, for many of us it is for normal life to be restored, to pick up from where we left off at work and school in family and community relationships. This will probably include time and money saving discoveries we have made, like video communications and working from home. Aspirations of normal life are different for all of us. Mine is hugging grandchildren and the pleasurable experience of having a haircut in my favourite barber shop, enjoying a bit of conversation while being pampered and feeling good about myself afterwards. The government's roadmap is really a series of steps that must be achieved <clears throat> before normal life can be restored. Low infection rates, high immunisation of the population, no hospitalisations due to COVID and low death rates, all to be achieved by following the mantra, face, space, hands. and the rules of where, when and how events take place. Everybody likes a plan B, but in our complex situation it probably needs a plan C, as in wait and see. With frequent reviews and reassessments, along the way. Everybody has their own idea of what, how and when things should be done, often constructed with the benefit of hindsight. In our Gospel reading today, Jesus sets out very plainly the road map or plan A that God has set out for him and thus, the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, chief priests and teachers of the law. He must be killed 
and after three days rise again. Peter has a better idea intimating in this reading from Mark's Gospel and also in Matthew's account. Never, Lord, we won't let this happen to you. It draws a firm rebuke from Jesus that it is God's will that should be the focus. He also reminds us that Satan has his own plan to subvert that of God. Where would we be if Peter's plan had been adopted? What would have been the impact on our faith, our hope, our life in this world and the next? Jesus then plainly sets out all the milestones that are necessary to be achieved before we can achieve his promise of salvation and eternal life in the destination of his heavenly kingdom. Follow me. That's it. Just the one. Follow me. Meaning his teachings, commandments to love one another and God, and by his example he has given us faithfully recorded in the Bible. Not only do we have the Bible as our guidebook, but also the promised Holy Spirit to support us and to keep us on track when the going gets hard. We all come to that commitment to follow him and confess he is our Lord and Master by different routes and at different times in our life. It is challenging to resist the temptations to make our own way in this life and to focus on earthly things and conform to the ideas of men and women at the expense of spiritual ones. But be in no doubt there is only one way to reach a destination of heaven. There's a great song that I remember the members of the youth club and band sang and played in church with such vitality and enthusiasm many years ago now, entitled, You Won't Get to Heaven on the Back of a camel. The lyrics of the verses are fun, covering a whole range of improbabilities and misconceptions. But the chorus includes the truth that Jesus himself told us. There's only one way, one way, that you can get to heaven. Oh yeah. There's only one way, one way, and that's through God's Son, Jesus. He's the only way. Perhaps we will sign this song for you one day. God bless you all.